Hey everyone, Solidish here. Welcome back. So, Valve recently released a new APU driver update for Windows on Steam Deck. We are going to install it and revisit FC24 to see if it still plays well like before. And also, if you still haven't checked out my previous videos on how to fix FIFA completely on Steam Deck, I recommend you to do that. I'll link those videos in the description box. You'll find it there. And also if this video helps, please consider putting a like. It helps for YouTube's algorithm and if you like more Steam Deck content, maybe subscribe to the channel. Okay, I just finished downloading the driver. Now let's extract the zip file. Open the GFX folder. Run the setup. Let's restart the system and come back. Now uh, extract the other two zip file, here's one and here the other one. Go to the folder and right click the .inf file and click install, click run. Do the same on the second one. There you go, uh, we are done installing the new driver. The AMD control panel is not yet supported, so it will show this warning. But there is a way, let's fix it. Go to browser and search AMD Adrenaline 23.9.1. Open the first link, scroll down and click this link. Let it download. Open another tab and type 7zip. Go to the download page, download the 64 bit version. After completing the download, install 7zip. Right click on the downloaded AMD driver 23.9.1 and select 7zip and extract here. Now open the extracted folder, then packages. Then go to drivers, then display, go to the next folder, open the folder named B395348. Yeah, from here uh, we just need to install the ccc2.exe, this one, install it. And done. Now um, let's try and see if AMD control panel opens up or not. Yep, now it's working. If for some reason it doesn't open, try uh, restarting Steam Deck. It should be working. Here's the latest version. is dated September 6, 2023. Great, uh, time to test FIFA or FC24. As always, we have to set the GPU limit to 1200 MHz. Okay, let's go straight to FC24. Alright, um, here is the settings. The quality on this part is not that great. Sorry for it. I'll connect to my capture card shortly. Resolution set to native 800p. 60fps with VSync definitely on. Without it, um, the game lags, so keep it on. And dynamic resolution off. The hair option is off. Render quality is set to low and the grass and crowd quality set to medium. Let's go straight to gameplay now. Alright, the gameplay is very smooth as always. It's totally locked at 60 FPS. Good news. Chance. All depends on you have to say. 
Okay, here I connected my 1080p monitor on Steam Deck. The resolution set to 720p and the monitor's refresh rate is 144Hz. So I'll go with it. And also the frame rate set to unlocked and the rest is pretty much the same. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is Look we should at the be frame rate, 75 appears, wow. Occasion. It's hmm. Argentina up against Portugal. Well Derek, we can talk about coach. Real chance. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Messi, can they convert, and a goal, 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, let's take another look, and wow, how cleanly does he hit that, the keeper was never going to save it, what a good goal that is. Pressure applied. Possession seeded by Portugal. Well, that's a good looking position. Is there a goal in the future? And a throw coming up. On docked mode, I personally like 900p, which totally stays uh, locked at 60 FPS and looks good too on a bigger screen. after a really fine piece of tackling well that wasn't part of the plan was it giving the ball away like that De Paul and back to Messi showing patience as well as persistence in the build up Rafael Leao. Cristiano Ronaldo. There to take it away. Alexis McAllister. Messi. Can he put it in? Messi! Oh, a chance to put them at an even better position. Well, he's got to hit the target there. What a waste that is. So, a personnel change then. Ruben Neves. Perfect tackle. Martinez. Martinez and a goal calls for celebrations again two in front well here we can see it again and he does so well to skip beyond the defender it just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away that's a really nice goal Leal and they stopped them in their tracks Alexis McAllister Messi 
Messi. The fans want to see a shot. Can they cover up? Well, they can bring it out now. Now let's also try 1080p. Bruno Fernandes has it. This one is still actually playable, but at locked 50 FPS. Still impressive for Steam Deck at 1080p. Well, he went for power, but he might be having second thoughts about that now. And also the online match performs uh, pretty much exactly the same, unless if you have any connection issue. You can check my other video to know how the game performs online. All links are in the description box. Oh, big opportunity! Oof. Oh, close so near. Ronaldo well, nicely cut out plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce oh surely Defending. Joao Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Couldn't hang on to it again. Messi. And defensive play to be applauded. Di Maria. Now with Messi. Lionel Messi. Anyway, I uh, hope the video helps. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And thanks for watching.